Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want and thanks for logging on. Today we are looking at a trifecta of Rolex dive watches. This is one of our lug to lug fit, feel, and ergonomic comparisons where we take three of the mainstays of Rolex's modern dive watch lineup and just compare their dimensions, actual and measured, the subjective fit and feel on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, and we talk a little bit about the features that define their size and account for the differences. Now on my wrist, again, 16 centimeters in circumference, we're going to use this Rolex 116610V, that's Vert, the Hulk, we know it as the green version of the modern Supercase Submariner as our baseline and frame of reference. You can see that it is 48 millimeters from lug to lug. It is 40 millimeters across the diagonal portion of the round of the case, but with the flare of these lugs, the size of the crown guard, and the amount of metal Rolex added when it went from the five digit to the six digit reference, the watch took on the, the wrist impression subjectively of a 42 millimeter watch and when I wear one of these I feel as though I am wearing a 42 millimeter Royal Oak Offshore. It has that kind of heft and it has that kind of sheer real estate. When it parks on the wrist you feel like you're wearing a bigger piece of metal. You also feel like you're wearing a heavier piece of metal. Now this is the reference 97200 bracelet and clasp. It has features all solid links, solid end links, and a fully milled out oyster clasp. Now this is like a solid ingot of steel in the hand. It closes like the door of a bank vault and it features an order of magnitude more quality than the old stamped clasps of the five digit references. But what sets this one apart is the use of the tool free glide lock incremental adjustment. Two millimeters at a time up to 20 millimeters in total. It allows you to make tool free adjustments on the fly of the watch to suit an expanding or contracting wrist during physical activity. Also gives you an easy option to fit the watch over a dive suit if you want to. Now in terms of thickness, this one's nice and thin. By Rolex dive watch standards, 12.5 millimeters from the top of the crystal to the bottom of the conical case back. Because the case back does have that conical profile, the watch sits much lower on the wrist and because of the sloping bezel, you shouldn't have any trouble slipping this one under a tight dress cuff. A sport jacket, a blazer will be no problem at all. And I want to show you one more good view of the watch from overhead so you can see how it fits on my wrist. It doesn't overlap the edges of my skin. The increase in size with this one from the five digit reference is really lateral from side to side and it's in heft in the mass on the wrist. But it does feel and wear like a 42. Now we're going to step things up from the Hulk. We dive deeper still into the pantheon of Rolex diving greats and we bring forth the Sea Dweller 4000, one of the sensations of Basel World 2014. It represented the return of the 40 millimeter Sea Dweller case. But while 40 millimeters, this is no lightweight. The watch is thicker, it's heavier, but it's also more feature laden than the Submariner we just examined. So compared to the Supercase Submariner, this one actually measures a little bit shorter from lug to lug. Unless my calipers deceive me, I measured this one at 46.5 millimeters from the extremity of the lug edge to the opposite extremity. So in terms of its span, it's actually a little bit smaller than the 48 of the sub. Where this one gains is the girth. This watch is a full 15 millimeters thick, and because the side has a little bit more flare to it up and over the skin, as well as a broader, more outward cantilevered bezel, your chances of clearing a tough dress cuff and using this as a dual use watch are just a little bit, I, I would say your prospects are just a little bit slimmer, pun intended, than with the Submariner. It's not necessarily going to fit under every dress sleeve, but it will fit under some. A sport jacket or a blazer should be no problem. But what you give up in thinness, you do gain in aesthetic grace because the omission of the Cyclops eye from the Submariner, and I'll mention that the Cyclops eye from case back to its peak increases the thickness of the sub to 14 millimeters. The omission of the Cyclops eye from the Sea Dweller 4000 means that the crystal reads clean. There's a symmetry here, especially in profile, that you don't get on the Submariner. So you do get perhaps a more elegant watch, and from an arm's length, it really does look like a cleaner, more visually spare, pared down Submariner. It doesn't necessarily read as a completely mutated species, but you do get the Sea Dweller 4000 content, including the helium release valve, the deeper dive rating, and the thicker crystal. What you also get is this reference 97400 Rolex 
oyster bracelet, oyster clasp with glide lock and flip lock. Now glide lock, we looked at it on the Submariner, it gives you 20 millimeters of adjustability in two millimeter increments. Flip lock gives you an all or nothing 26 millimeter extension. So if you wanna put it over a winter coat, a really thick sweater, or of course, a dive suit, I know, can you imagine? You get this flip lock extension, each individual part feels like a million dollars, and it adds abundant length. Want more still? You can tag team the glide lock and the flip lock to add a total of 46 millimeters of extension, tool free. Very versatile, it does add a little bit more heft to the watch and a little bit more complexity to the clasp, but such as the standard of manufacture and finishing, you don't worry about fragility because it simply isn't fragile. But we love our special edition Rolexes, and after the Hulk and after the Sea Dweller 4000, I bring you the Mac Daddy of Rolex dive watches, the largest and most advanced serially produced Rolex dive watch ever made. This is the Deep Sea. Since its debut at Basel World in the late 2000s, it's represented the ultimate option, really one of only a few options for Rolex fans who wanted a modern, oversized sports watch, and oversized it is. You can see this James Cameron Special Edition Deep Sea Deep Blue, reference 116660, that's right, it is the new 666, features a unique gradient dial that actually changes from almost a cobalt blue at the surface to black, representing James Cameron's journey from daylight down to the bottom of the Challenger Deep of the Mariana Trench, and of course that shock of green where it says Deep Sea represents the color of his submersible. But, like his submersible, this one is immensely thick. 18 millimeters from the top of the crystal to the back of the conical titanium screwed in case back. This thing isn't going to clear a dress cuff. It's probably not going to clear the cuff of a jacket. And it may not clear the top of a covered bridge. So wear this one in good times with short sleeves. Also, at a gargantuan 52 millimeters from lug to lug, that is the outer extremity to the opposing outer extremity, this is the biggest Rolex watch from lug to lug, far larger even than the Yacht Master 2. Now, 40 mil 44 millimeters is the nominal size, but that's only across the closest diagonal portions of the round portion of the case. I will say, however, that with its monster crystal, its burly ring lock sealing system, and of course, the incredible technology contained herein, this watch represents the ultimate technological option and the absolute top of the pyramid of evolution in the Rolex tool watch pantheon. So you are getting a lot of substance in addition to the outlandish oversized style. What you're also getting is a bracelet. In this case reference, this is called 98210. That's even a step above the 97400 on the Sea Dweller 4000. And here's its key trick. Glide lock is further refined with a sort of articulated release hatch, kind of like a submarine that makes it far easier to adjust the glide lock in and out. You can slide it easily. There's no notched detent. There's no friction to oppose you. And of course, flip lock, all 26 millimeters of it is included as part of the package. So not only a more technologically advanced clasp, but one that makes use of the glide lock easier, quicker. And if you are gonna use this as professional diving gear, just that much more convenient, so you can tend to more urgent manners. This is a beast. This is a leviathan of the deep, and there's a reason that this thing is the sperm whale, the 30-foot shark, the giant squid of the Rolex dive watch world. And I'll tell you, if you've got the wrist for it, big doesn't get any better than this. You can check out this Rolex Deep Sea Sea Dweller along with the Rolex Sea Dweller 4000 and the Supercase Submariner, the Hulk, on our website, watchyouwant.com.